So yeah, I've been running lots of tests on the printer to find a setting that I like really, I guess. And one thing I'm starting to realise is it's it's a very subjective matter. Um, there is ones that when you first print come out and there is a bit of a magenta cast. Apparently this is a bit of a common trait on Canon printers. Then I've been going through the various settings and trying to find a profile and a setting that works for my tastes. But so far there's been quite a few different results and yeah just kind of like looking through and trying to work out and assess really what uh, what I like and what I want to produce in a black and white print. One thing that I do find quite strange is I tend to print a lot from Photoshop but being a graphic designer I use um, InDesign a lot and so I've actually started to print from InDesign and noticed with exactly the same settings and exactly the same ICC profiles the end results and the prints are totally different and yeah that is very strange and it's not great to be honest because for colour consistency or for at least for black and white consistency it's um, yeah a bit of a minefield so yeah as I say being a graphic designer um, I guess really it's just finding something to suit so I'll show you the footage of me laying the prints out I had um, a camera facing down just to show and I hope it'll pick it up I'm gonna leave this in full color so and no messing about with any uh, looks or anything so you'll see prints as I see them theoretically um, but again one thing I did notice is looking at them in different lights you do see different color hues so again that is something if you're looking at them under LED kind of lights and even hanging them in your own home actually under you you know under different lights like tungsten lights the prints are going to look totally different so that's another consideration I guess but if you just want great black and white prints then yeah um, hopefully my results will show you well say hopefully you'll get something from my results um, if you have any questions then ask me um, but yeah I'll show you uh, what I got and what conclusions I came to
So I was watching a video on black and white printing and they changed everything to a gamma setting, a black and white gamma, so I thought I'd have a go with that. Um, the first print I did it was set to gamma 2.2 and with the Canon uh, printer controlling the colours and this is the first print I got. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on here but this print has a bit of a magenta cast. Um, this is probably the most evident of all of the prints and it wasn't so bad until I printed out the next print um, and then it became really noticeable. So <clears throat> the next print I did I used uh, Photoshop to manage the colours and I picked um, a profile which was um, yeah, good question. <laughs> Let me have a look in Photoshop. Yeah, so this first print was done using Canon um, ICC profile IP870 uh, SG2 LU2, which I guess is gloss and luster um, two setting. And so this print is a little bit more grayscale I guess compared to this first one definitely um, it's a little warmer and when I mean warmer I don't mean as in the magenta cast there is more it's a browner uh, kind of feeling um, again it's taste I guess <clears throat> the next print that I did I used the next one down which is the SG3 LU3 so this print so this print probably came out um, quite nice actually I quite like the tones in it it's definitely got not much magenta it's not very evident until you actually do get it in natural light and look at it with another print side by side which I'll get into in a minute but to be honest <coughs> this probably is one of the settings that I'll go with if I ever print from Photoshop but yeah it's quite a nice setting this one so again settings will change depending on what paper you use um, and what profiles you use I guess so really it's a case of as I say taste and finding what works for you the next thing I did that was printed in grayscale in the gamma setting so the next thing I did was convert it to sRGB to see if the printer would print anything different um, anything sharper and I used the same profile which is the SG3 LU3 and yeah so this was the print again you'll see the overhead view <coughs> Compared to the last print, this one again is very neutral, but it didn't, or well, it seems to be a lot flatter. The uh, blacks aren't as punchy as the last one. Um, again, I'm not sure whether that's because RGB has got a wider print space, but uh, yeah, definitely you notice that it's a more muted palette as opposed to being punchier with the last one. I then converted it to uh, Fogger 39 which is a CMYK uh, profile, being a graphic designer that's kind of like what we convert a lot of our actual print files to for sending out to commercial printers. So I printed that out again and then this one. To be honest, there wasn't much difference between the CMYK and the RGB. They both looked pretty, pretty similar to be honest. So the printer obviously can handle RGB and, and CMYK files pretty easy, even though it's a six ink printer. Um, I haven't actually gone through and tested any color images yet, purely because I print probably 70, 30, if not 80, 20 um, black and white. So. So after printing this from Photoshop, and this is again the standard profile which is the uh, SG3 LU3 in, in the uh, Gamma 2.2 black and white. Um, 
I then thought I would have a look um, printing from InDesign. So I imported the exact same file, printed with the exact same settings, the SG3, LU3, um, and then we get this. So it's pretty hard to tell looking at it, I guess, on this screen because the colour profile is on the Canon uh, camera is going to pick up slightly different colours, I guess, to what I'm actually seeing in, with my human eye. But <clears throat> the one from InDesign, in this region here, there is absolutely zero magenta, whereas on the one from Photoshop, there is actually uh, remnants of, of uh, magenta cast there, which again, you don't really notice until you look at some of the other ones and with this one side by side. Um, also, in the area around here and the white, it is actually a lot brighter. So, the contrast is, I guess, more prominent, um, which I'm not 100% sure why, because it's exactly the same settings, exactly the same file, just printed from two different applications by the same manufacturer, Adobe. So why they would print so differently, um, I don't know. It's something I'm going to have to look into. But yeah, so that's my finding so far, to be honest. Um, for <clears throat> for most of my work, I'll probably just print from Photoshop um, using the uh, SG3 LU3 profile with possibly getting more of this paper because I really like the feel and texture of this paper. Um, as I mentioned previously, I wish it was slightly thicker, but once you've actually um, got it framed, you won't really notice any difference. So, uh, yeah, until I find um, another alternative, this is probably my preferred method so far. So that is converting the file to um, grayscale gamma 2.2 and then when I'm printing I print with letting the uh, Adobe software manage the colours and again like I said it's on the SG3 LU3 profile from Canon. Um, and using the Pro Luster paper setting. That's the best one I've found so far for this paper stock um, and my inks and my printers so far. Um, I'll carry on working, I'll carry on finding out if I can find anything better, but as I say so far, this is probably what works best for me. And again, it's a matter of taste, as in everything with photography and design and art, it's all subjective, but yeah. Hope you find that useful and informative. If you need to know anything, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, catch you in the next one. So, just recently I've been running lots of tests on the printer to see what I... <laughs>